Okay, welcome to another AI mini lecture. Today we are discussing these search algorithms in AI. The concept of search algorithm in AI is well known. We are at a certain state. We can have, we can call the successor function to go to the new states. And finally, when we hit the goal state, which is known by the goal test, we can stop our search or perhaps still going in some variations, but that's the, the crux of the search algorithm. There are two different kinds of search algorithms, generally speaking. One is tree search and one is graph search. And sometimes there is some sort of confusion around what do, what do these two represent? And perhaps the naming doesn't help. But in either case, whether, the graph, whether we are using graph search or tree search, we can assume that the underlying structure is always a graph. That's not the thing that's in question here. Rather, the question is whether we are, struck, whether we are searching in that underlying structure like a graph or like a tree. If we search it like a tree, that means we always see, okay, we are here, we, we've been to this node, this node, this is our ancestor, etc. We do not really remember that this particular node was also reachable from the other node. So in other words, we do not really track the history of the nodes that we have already been to. And that is the main definition and the main difference between the graph search and free search. Again, in graph search, you are going to keep a closed list. That's a list of closed nodes, the nodes that you have already been to. In tree search, you're not going to really do that. And what is the advantage of one over the other? The advantage and the disadvantage is very simple. In graph search, you'll almost always beat the time, but you have to keep that memory. So if you do not have the memory where you can keep all the list of of the nodes where you have already been to, depending on the problem size and the problem complexity. You may not have that much memory, in which case you have to resort to tree search. If you can keep a list of closed nodes, then certainly you'll use graph search. But when you cannot, tree search will be the only option. And that is the main difference between graph search and tree search. Hopefully that's helpful.